minutes for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Secretary Bunch, for being with us this morning. Um, in your opening statement, you wrote that you believe we should be, uh, the Smithsonian should be in every home and every classroom in the country. And you also stated in your testimony a few minutes ago uh, that the Smithsonian should never come from a place of left or right. Um, Secretary, are you familiar, or do you know the number of drag shows that the Smithsonian has hosted in the last uh, three years? No, I don't. Six. And four of those were targeted at children. Uh, that going back to June 27th of 2020, an online event uh, at the American Art Museum listed under the kids and families category, a virtual drag queen story time, Ruth brings fun for the whole family as she reads classic nursery rhymes and tales for children, June 5th, 21. June 18th, 21, a virtual drag queen art bingo night, uh, June 4th of 22, uh, a a, another event at targeted at children. My question is this, um, you know, how does hosting drag shows for children help the Smithsonian achieve their mission of catalyzing public engagement and sparking curiosity by learning the connection, uh, learning by, sorry, learning by connecting the knowledge, resources, and expertise of the Smithsonian with vital network of cultural and educational uh, organizations? What culture is uh, exposing children to overly sexual material appropriate? I think it's not appropriate to, to expose children to drag shows. I'm surprised and I will look into that. Thank you, um, I appreciate that. The most recent one was actually um, June 23rd of 23. Uh, at the but American. that was geared not to children at all, is my understanding, in New York City. Um, but, but how is that actually relevant to ed the education aspect? I mean, even if it's not to children, why are we talking about that issue? I think it's I think important. there's many other things that we should be looking at. And we are doing so much more. That is a small part of whatever we do. And the reality is that the Smithsonian is trying to make sure that it um, embraces the totality of who we are as Americans. But this is not the major part of what we do at all. Well I, I, well, I appreciate that it's not a major part, thankfully. I, I recognize that. I think that certainly the targeting of children is completely inappropriate, uh, and I appreciate your opportunity to look into that, and I look forward to hearing a follow-up from me on that. Um, now to, to pivot, well, let me, uh, let me also ask one last question. Um, was there any, were there any taxpayer funds used for those shows that you're aware of? I have to look into that. I know that Smithsonian resources are used in a variety of ways, but I'm not sure. Thank you for that. Um, pivoting now, um, this, how does the Smithsonian plan to ensure that the Women's History Museum represents a wide uh, diversity of thought and perspectives among American women and avoid, uh, avoid engaging in progressive identity politics? Um, and what are the sp sort of specific plans or initiatives that you're looking forward to? The goal of the Women's Museum is to explore the history of women by helping people recognize in new ways the names they know, to find new stories that they don't know anything about, but to basically say that we want to use women's history as a lens to understand what it means to be an American, to see it through the eyes of women. I think that we are clear that um, as we move forward, we'll hire scholars and curators and begin to develop what are the ideas we will explore. That's what's coming, that's in the future. My goal is to recognize that we have to tell a broader story but my goal is to make sure that this is a story shaped by scholarship that helps us understand the story of women in this country. Do you believe that um, they will, you will have some of these particular initiatives um, included in the potential exhibits that also reflect um, the Christian community and the conservative women's organizations um, that have sort of shaped, um, and, and you actually brought some items uh, mm -hmm. from uh, the suffrage movement, which I appreciate, and some of that was very much sort of a Christian-based um, uh, uh, focus. Do you the plan on including those as well? Absolutely. The Smithsonian will explore a diversity of opinions um, and that, in essence, one of the things that the Smithsonian's done is really made sure that issues of religion are central to part of the interpretations we're doing throughout the Smithsonian. Well, and as a follow-up, if I may, Mr. Chairman, I would say that um, Alice Mary Robertson uh, was the uh, first woman ever to serve in the state of Oklahoma in the United States Congress, and she was also the first woman to provide, uh, I'm sorry, preside over the United States House of Representatives, and so I hope that she will be included in, in your museum in the future. So uh, with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield.